the first search that we have that is available to all of our members is what we call the CSI division search. That's available to both basic and premium members. There's two levels of access to our website, but both members, both premium and basic users, can utilize the division search. Uh, a lot of companies are going to know what their division number is already. If you don't, we're going to lead you through the process of finding that out now. So under the research tab, I'm going to go ahead and click on the CSI master format list. And now what we have here is a list of CSI numbers and the descriptives that the Builders Exchange has received since we started listing projects and putting them on our website, which has been quite a long time. So you'll see this is a very long list. So rather than searching through the entire list and spending hours finding the uh, CSI division number that applies to me, I can hit Control F, that's a Control F as in Frank, and I get a little window that pops up in front of me. So let's say we're working as a painting company and I want to find out what division painting is in. I enter painting, let the search run. You'll see now at the top I've got some results and I can hit enter and it's going to scroll through this listing for me and what I'm looking for when I'm doing this is finding a big chunk where my keyword shows up and here we are we see the word painting showing up numerous times within division 9 so what that tells me is that as a painting contractor division 9 is what I'm going to want to enter into my CSI search field so back at the filters page we know what division number we want to use I'm going to go ahead and click on the orange plus button that's the tool we use to set up a new filter at this page the create a new filter page some people get a little confused a little scared there's a lot of information here but don't be scared we're going to break it down one by one for you so it makes sense if you recall we're doing the CSI division search so we want to enter in the number 09 into the search because that's the division that we just found when we ran through the CSI index search and we want to tell the website to search only in the spec index so right now literally telling the website find me all the projects that have division 9 in the table of contents for the spec book so now we're going to give the search a title. It's best to give the search a title that actually reflects what information is going to pull up when you run the search. So when you see the projects, you know what it actually means when you're seeing them pull up on screen. So we've got a title for our filter, and now I'm going to go ahead and click Save.